Hey everyone, today I wanna to talk to you about the 10 elements that your sales page needs to actually convert. If you're a coach or a service provider or you're selling information products online, you need to have a sales page that converts. And all too often, we neglect these sales pages and they don't include all of the critical elements that the buyer needs to see in order to get them to whip out that credit card and say yes. So today I'm going to dive into the 10 elements that you need to have in order to get your sales page to convert. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We put new videos out on making marketing and business simple every Tuesday and every single Thursday. So let's dive into the content. The first and most important thing that every single sales page needs to have is a strong headline because ultimately the headline is what actually keeps the person engaged and moving on to the next part of the sales page. And so once somebody lands on your page, you have approximately two seconds to grab their attention to get them to move on to the rest of the sales page to see if it's something that they even want to engage in. Two seconds. It's crazy, people. So those headlines and getting them interested out of the gate is super duper important. And I would contend you want to just drive home and just really target that person that you are talking to. So for example, overworked and underpaid entrepreneur, right? I see you. <laughs> or tired of trading dollars for hours, overworked entrepreneur. That is a great example of a strong, headline and those strong headlines are what you need to get people to continue to read on down through your page. So include that strong headline. Element number two, and it's so freaking important, is what are the pain points that this person is experiencing? This is where you can showcase that you are inside the brain of your ideal client. When they read this section, you want them to be thinking, how the heck did they get inside my brain? Like that is the feeling and that is the emotion that you want them to experience when they read this copy. And oftentimes people don't really, A, do the research around this and B, they don't really dive in and be bold and really like target that emotion that the person is or needs to experience to get them to keep moving on to the next part of the sales page. And so at the top of the sales page, before the fold, the part where you scroll down, right? The part that shows up on your computer, that's where you need to start to include those pain points. That's where you really need to be like, get that person to be like shaking their head yes while they're sitting at their computer being like, oh my God, she gets me. And these pain points, they should be short, they should be pointed, they should be strong and bold and they should really embody who that person is and what they are experiencing in their life right now. And the more that you can do this, the better your page will convert. So it's super important to get these right. Element number three, it has to include your story or a story from a client. Oftentimes we create these programs or offers that are us, you know, just a short period ago. And so I highly recommend you take your story and you interject it into the sales page of like how you overcame this thing that they too are experiencing. So for example, in my world, a lot of times people can relate to me from the perspective of having traded dollars for hours for a really, really long time and just working my ass off and not really like just spinning my wheels, right? And oftentimes you have to make really hard decisions to commit to getting to that next level. 
And in doing so, you have to make changes to your behavior. And I share part of that story on my sales page so that people can relate. And there is a light at the end of the tunnel to get to the other side. Element number four, paint the picture of what the future can be like if they choose to make a different decision. So you have to paint the picture of what their new reality could be like if they experience your course. Now I'll use the example of fitness and workout DVDs. They do an awesome job with this because they'll get somebody to come on and literally speak to the camera about the transformation that they experience. And ultimately that's what this future is. When people buy from you, they're buying the transformation, they're buying the system to create change in their lives or in their businesses. And so you have to do your job in painting the picture of what that future could be like for them if they decide to buy your program. So what is the future look like? That's what you have to do. You have to be very clear and hyper specific about the wants and the desires of the person. And this is important to understanding your ideal client. So do the research, take the time, interview people who have worked with you to get an idea of what is the future for them. Element number five, your offer, AKA the solution. Okay, so this is where you get to be like, in comes the solution, folks. And presenting your offer at the right time, in the right place, in the sales page is super important. But it's also super important to present it in the right way that lets the person know that their transformation is available to them if they choose to move forward with this solution. So when you're writing up your offer, and I'm not talking about like the bullet pointed offer, right? Like here are the details of what's included offer. I'm talking about when you first introduce the offer and what the solution is. It's really important to continue to tie it back to the pain points that they are experiencing at their current position, right? So an example of this might be with our social media made simple program where we're always talking about like, you know, we've got a system in place for you to take one piece of macro content and turn it into pieces of micro content so that you aren't wondering at 5 p.m. every day, what the heck am I gonna post today, right? So you're circling back to that pain point to reiterate, hey, I see you, I feel you, I understand you, I've been there, and here's what you can do about it, right? So it's that full circle of here's the pain point, here's the true transformation, here's the solution, and bringing that full circle is so freaking important when it comes to sales pages. It's, an, it's a subtle thing that people often miss. So present your solution and your offer. Element number six, and this is so, 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 so important, is testimonials because testimonials prove hey this person can do what they say that they're gonna do like hey this person got this transformation so I can get this transformation too I love screenshots from the program I love videos written testimonials with pictures are great but I love like taking screenshots from my Facebook community where people post feedback I love taking video testimonials of folks because these are real people and it makes it more real to the person on the other side so that they too can be like, oh man, I want this for myself, right? Like that testimonial makes it real. And so testimonials are key to include on a sales page. Now, if you do not have any yet, I would recommend you take a step back and do a beta launch or a pre-sale of your course and ask for feedback so that you can get those testimonials out of the gate. Or if you've worked one-on-one -on -one with folks, it's okay to include those one-on-one -on -one testimonials, assuming that they are working around the same sort of thing, if that makes sense. Element number seven, great graphics. Great graphics and great visuals on your sales page dramatically help increase conversions. People are visual and they don't always necessarily read every single word that's on your sales page. I know, heartbreaking, right? And so graphics really help spice up the visual to keep people engaged. So I always like to pull out high 
level stuff and turn it into a visual. So one of the things that we often do on our sales page is we'll talk about the amount of time and money that somebody will save or gain back with our program. So I will always create a visual of what that is so that people can engage in the possibility of what that would be like for them. People don't actually read online, they scan. And so great graphics actually grab attention and call attention to particular sections of your sales page that you want to highlight. Element number eight, the 411. Okay, this is where you get like down and dirty around what is included, okay? Like what are the hardcore details? Like how many modules? What are the call dates? What do I get access to? Like the down and dirty specs of the program. And this is something that I love to do in a visual. So when you go to like buy a new iPhone, you can compare like this version to that version. And there's like very specific, very clear, either graphics or visuals around what's included. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you take the time to do this. You can use a program like Canva, or you can even just use like Excel and clean up, you know, the background, put a little color in it and plug that, take a screenshot or save it as a JPEG and put it into the sales page. Cause that visual is so helpful for people to be able to quickly and easily in an instant see what is included in the program. Element number nine, expectation setting. So I love to be like, okay, so when you purchase, here's what's gonna happen, right? And here's how long this program is gonna take and here's what, you know, it's gonna take you approximately an hour a week and you know, once you press this button, you're gonna get immediate access to this, you're gonna get access to the Facebook community within one business day, blah, 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 blah. So I always include like what are the expectations a that are going to be expected of the client like how many hours per week are they going to have to you know work on this course or program how is it going to get delivered to them where are they going to get access to it how does that access happen like what is the like set the expectations right because clear expectations out of the gate when it comes to purchasing a program makes life so 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 much simpler and easier get those expectations clear and put that information on there that information is something that people often neglect but will be a huge hang up or a reason why people don't buy and take that next step and hit that click here or enroll now or buy now button so get the expectations clear and the 10th and final element is a clear call to action like buy now or enroll now or whatever that you know next step is that you want them to take in this particular instance since we're talking about sales page it's the action of actually taking out their credit card okay now i highly recommend having multiple buy now buttons on your sales page. And the reason why I suggest this is people don't always sign up on the first time they've gone through the sales page. It might take two or three or four times for them to see that page to actually take action and buy. And so when you have multiple buy now or enroll now buttons, you are gonna make it easier for somebody who is returning to the page to actually buy. So make those call to actions very clear, very concise, very easy, and you will be able to get a sales page that converts. So those are the 10 elements that I highly recommend that every single person include on their sales page. Now, there is a total art and science to bullet points, long form copy, subheadings, color coordination, and how of all, all of this stuff plays together. And I'm not gonna get into that in this video. I just wanted to talk about the 10 elements that you must have to get your sales page to convert. Cause I think it's really, really important to touch upon these from a copy and content perspective because so many people are missing these elements. You, once you have these elements in place, then you can start to dive into like, should this be a bullet point or should this be long form copy or should this have a subheading? What needs to be injected into each one of these elements? But if you don't have these elements in the first place, you can't then start to massage the other stuff. So get to work on getting these elements inside of your sales page. And if you have a sales page you want me to take a peek at, drop it in the comments. And of course, let me know what you think of this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe and join our channel. We put out new videos two times a week, all about business, 
and making marketing simple. It's all about making business and online marketing simple for those of us who are building our online empire. So thank you so much for tuning in and we'll talk to you all soon. Have a fantastic day.